Hi, my name is Puran Arora, and I will be presenting on artificial urinary sphincter outcomes in men with a history of radiation therapy. With the use of primary driven radiation therapy, men can develop debilitating stress urinary incontinence. Today, the AUS remains the gold standard surgical intervention for severe stress urinary incontinence in men with a history of radiation therapy. The objective of our study was to evaluate our institution's experience with AUS placement after radiation therapy. A retrospective chart review was completed with patients with a history of radiation therapy who underwent AUS placement from 2003 to 2019. We evaluated baseline characteristics such as patient demographics, history of radical prostatectomy, number of pads used before surgery, history of stricture disease, and prior, prior incontinence procedures. In addition, we evaluated the type of radiation received. In regards to post-surgical outcomes, we evaluate continent status measured by pads per day, post-operative complications, and activation of AUS per protocol. A total of 130 men with prior radiation therapy underwent AUS placement in our institution during this time period. A table of the baseline characteristics can be seen on the right. Patients had a mean follow-up of 10.7 months, and approximately 85% of patients had a previous radical prostatectomy. Mean pad use prior to intervention was 6.2 per day. A total of 38 patients had previous incontinence procedures, which included male slings and AUS. In regards to our post-surgical outcomes, a post-operative complication was noted in a total of 21 patients. These included hematoma formation, superficial infection, and urinary retention. Mean pad use per day was 1.7. Additional procedures were required in 51 patients, which included urethrotolation and removal or revision of the AUS. In conclusion, AUS placement after radiation therapy can significantly improve stress urinary incontinence and remains a gold standard option. It is important, however, to counsel all patients prior to surgery on the potential for reoperation. Thank you very much.